In an interview with the Epic Times, Murray Sachuk reflects on the changing landscape of entertainment in Sin City, giving back to the community, and authoring a children's book. The renowned stage illusionist and magician rose to fame during the fifth season of America's Got Talent. His standout performances included making a Ferrari appear on stage and transforming a girl locked in a cage into a 450-pound tiger. The magician held a residency for 12 years at the famed Tropicana Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip, until the hotel closed earlier this year to make way for a major league baseball stadium. The pictures we always see of these hotels are from when they were the biggest hotel in Las Vegas. Like when the Tropicana opened up in the late 50s we remember that. We don't remember the hotel today with the plumbing leaking and the old electricity and carpet, Mr. Sachuk said. Offering insight into the city's enduring appeal, he highlighted how Las Vegas thrives on reinvention, constantly seeking new attractions to keep pace with the changing times. We've always been reinventing ourselves. There's always new things to come here, he said. The reason Vegas has always been a destination since the 1950s is because we've always looked for the newest, most exciting thing. The spirit of renewal is evident with the upcoming transformation of the Tropicana, Mr. Shaw Chuck asserted, and said he's excited about the next opportunity and is currently deciding which venue to select for his new show, which is produced by The Laugh Factory. Following the lead of the Tropicana, the Mirage Hotel and Casino is set to close its doors this summer. Owned by Hard Rock International, which acquired the property in 2022, the hotel will officially cease operations on July 17. The rebranded Hard Rock Resort is slated to feature a nearly 700-foot guitar-shaped tower and aims to double the current number of jobs at the property. Mr. Sachuk reminisced about the Mirage's opening with Siegfried and Roy, a magic act that according to him paved the way for other magicians. Magicians, back in the old days were an opening act, Mr. Sachuk explained. You were an opening act for Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, or Robert Goulet. He credits Siegfried and Roy for elevating magic status and making stars out of magicians. Without them, I don't think I'd be sitting here in Las Vegas. I might be an opening act somewhere because that's the way a variety act was built back in the old days. A self-proclaimed history buff, Mr. Sachuk has guest starred on, Han Stars, as a magic historian, where he evaluates antique magic devices. Looking back on the evolution of celebrity acts, he described the transformative role of Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack in shaping Las Vegas. Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack, they transformed Vegas, Mr. Sachuk said. Big name stars followed Sinatra's lead, performing at Las Vegas hotels and casinos. Celine Dion's residencies revived the trend, with the city offering shows by celebrities. Now you can go see Bruno Mars or Christina Aguilera or Lady Gaga, and then you can go see a football game or a hockey game with the family, Mr. Sachuk concluded. In the past, Las Vegas had the reputation of an adult playground. However today, Las Vegas has transitioned from a gambling hub to a family-friendly destination, with attractions like the High Roller Ferris Wheel, amusement park rides at hotels like New York New York, aquariums, zoos, and children's museums. His family-friendly shows have won him fans of all ages. I have kids coming up in their 20s saying, I remember as a kid I watched your YouTube channel and you inspired me to not just do a normal job. I want to be an artist, I want to paint. I love what I do and it's a lot of fun, and it also seems to bring joy to other people," he said, describing his unconventional career path.